Hey everybody, welcome back. So, starting in this video, we're gonna start touring the castle. Um, unfortunately, I'm like I said probably several times at this point, I'm not as familiar with Suikoden 3 as I am as 1 and 2. Um, so I'm hoping I'm gonna find all the parts. This castle's kind of confusing. Okay, I guess to be fair, they're all kind of confusing. Except for maybe 4. 4 is this pretty simple layout. But, um, I'm hoping I'm going to get it all. The other thing is, I apologize for the background music here. It's not the normal music. It's because we're at the end of the game, and so we get this, you know, Heidi ho we're off to, to beat the bad guy music. So, um, and I hope I have all the items. Again, like I said, I kind of stole Icon save file. I believe he had all the items by this point, but if I'm missing one, then I can make a, a follow-up video to go get it and see what's going on. But, so we're going to tour the castle, talk to everybody, and uh, hopefully I get everything, so... Let's talk to Cecile right in the beginning. Ah, Noble Hugo, everything seems to have gathered in the great- Everything seems to have gathered- No, everyone. Yeah, unfortunately, that's kind of one problem with this game. There's no real good point near the end where you can get everybody and kind of have everyone talking about generic things because... Um... Yeah, that's a pro That's one thing about Sukin 3 I just don't like, is it, it is like, it's so heavily story. you know, it's like, it, they want you to do something very exact at very specific times, and I kind of feel like in Suikoden 1 and 2 it was a bit more open, like you had more chances to go out and do stuff here, it's like, and especially in this one, I mean, you're recruiting up to the literally the last second, like, we're about to, I mean, you don't get Sasurai until, like, you go to the final battle, it's like, good gracious, you know, so that's part of my problem is, I wanted all 108 characters, and even then, you don't even get 108 in this one. I didn't even mention that. Um, if I were to go look at the Tablet of Stars, it would show that I'm still missing four stars. Well, those four stars are actually Luke, um, I think Uber's even one of them. Like, Luke, Uber, Albert, and, and what's her butt? You know, Sarah. And it's like, what? You know, they're not even, no. So it was kind of a cheap shot, honestly. Like, it, it just, it's just annoying. I don't know. Um... But anyway, I lowered the music a little for this just because it is kind of annoying listening to that parade music, but... So, anyways. Whoa, Hugo, everything's fine at the castle. Let's b rebuild the village of Cry in the same way. Seriously? Alrighty, so... You know... Do I really want to talk to all the random people? Did I talk to the random people in the other castle videos? I don't recall. I don't think the first game even had random people. Some people wearing Harmony uniforms have entered. What's going on? Yeah, see, I, I don't even know if it's worth talking to them, because we're all going to be talking about what's going on right now. Well, I'll at least talk to all the 108 people. Alrighty. Oh, hey Isla. I didn't know this was where you're hanging out. Do these old man's predictions really come true? Can I... Okay, I can't explore his little tent, but hey Piccolo. Even the predictions I get wrong are delightful. Oh. Have Piccolo play your future? Hmm, hmm. Hmm, everyone is in the castle courtyard. Oh, I'm wondering, you know, it's like, again, I, I don't even think I ever talked to Piccolo. I think he's one of those, he, yeah, that's right. He's one of those characters that helps you figure out what you're supposed to do next, and I think he even helps you recruit people. So Martha runs the lottery, which I think I did at the very beginning of the LP, so we don't need to, I don't need to show that off. And we have the inn, which Sebastian is running. I don't think he's going to be in here, though. I think he's actually in the, um, oh, no, he is here. Hey, Sebastian. Welcome. Going to spend the night? Nope. Just chatting. Yeah, purposely have nobody in my party, so they should be hanging around the castle. Frankie, you must be rude to the guests. They're very important people. <laughs> uh, random people. What kind of place is the theater? I have a feeling this is will be turned into something major. Yep. Probably will. Let's see if anyone's upstairs. Is there only one room in this inn? Oh, hey cat! The cat startled me! Oh, it's a duck. What are you doing here? The guests have arrived! Shouldn't you be welcoming them? Yeah, I guess I probably should be, but no, we're gonna spend hours touring. Yeah, hopefully it's not hours. This castle isn't that big. I could probably- I might even get it in one video. At least it never felt that big to me. Like, I always felt like Suikoden 2's castle was huge. It just went on and on and on. Everyone's in the hall. Yeah, okay. She's not a 108 character. Excuse me. Got the room shop. Oh, hey. 
Who the hell are you? <laughs> I don't remember who he used to recruit him. I think it was Hugo. Although in this, this copy, I don't know. And then there's Jean, of course. Not much else going on in here. You know, it's funny, I never... I don't think I've ever made or used scrolls in any Suikoden game. Like, maybe as a last resort if I happen to have it on me. Can I read these? Nope. Alright. Byron's snoring again. He's just so excited. Ah, oh, yes. Gordon. Well, look who's here. Good to see you. Yep, I don't want anything. Get out of here. <laughs> Let's see. Nice item shop, actually. What do you have to say about it? It would be nice if we could make Karai as lively as the castle. I don't know. I kind of feel like it was more lively, but... Oh, hey, Gome. Oh, oh, appearing today for your benefit. It's Gome Appraisal Company! Okay. Can't go in your back room, I see. We sold our merchandise at good prices. It was really worth coming from Shisha. I'm so glad there are free trade zones. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alrighty. Oh, Gao, I almost missed you. Hmm, nice breeze today. Just so many random NPCs that I, I'm like, they're, the, the real people are getting kind of... Okay, now which way do I want to go? You know what, I'm going to go ahead and do all the outside grounds first, I guess. Because there's actually not that much outside. That way I know I got it all covered. Alright. We'll start way in the back here. I don't know if I've been back here. I might have actually gone back here looking for somebody before. There's a mini game back here. Oh, hey. It's the, the little black doggy. Hey, Roland. I like quiet places. Yeah, I see like it back here. Got all the different horses. Hey, dude, I want to talk to you. Excuse me. Nothing to report. Okay. It's Kathy. I'll talk to her in just a second. See, yeah, I was going to say, I knew there was other people over here. My word, it's Hugo. Need any help from me? Talk to you and hear him. Why not? This would be a good time to equip yourself, you know? <laughs> yeah, let's do it at the very end of the game. Hey, Hugo, it seems everyone's gathered in the Great Hall. What's going on? Is it exercise time? <laughs> nope. Well, I guess it could be, considering what you consider exercise. Let's ride with the wind. How tough do you want it? Uh, let's do some obstacles, because I totally remember how to play this minigame. So basically, it's just a, a cute little racing game. It's not really racing, because I don't think you're actually racing against anybody. I don't remember any of the controls. This should be fun. I probably should have looked them up. Um. Okay, so that's break. Come on, which jump? <sighs> One of these has to be jump. Oh, oh! There we go, R1. Okay, so, sorry, I had to pay attention slightly there for a second. Um. Gosh, this is terrible. Uh, so yeah, this mini game's okay. I don't know if you get anything from it. I can't remember. Wow, the jump is awful. Like, I think it like recognizes a jump and you just go straight through it. Um, it's fun. I mean, the controls are 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 not bad. You know, once you obviously know the buttons. Um, it it responds generally. I mean, for like a mini game like this, it's not bad. Um, like I said, I don't remember if you get anything. And I should also mention that Hugo will always ride this kind of horse, this Grasslands horse. Chris will ride her horse, and I don't actually know what Ghetto rides. I'm gonna bet he rides a brown horse. I don't actually know, but considering that there were brown horses in the stables, and Chris is always on a white horse, I'm guessing that they would all ride something different. Um, so yeah, I mean, basically that's all it is. I, again, I don't think you get anything. I think it's just for fun. So you get five actually is a racing game, but... Um, you actually can, you can, I don't think you get anything for winning, but you can actually bet on the races, and that's a lot of fun. I love doing that. I mean, I'm, I've never bet on horses in real life, nor do I have any intention to ever do it, but I love doing it in video games. Like, oh my gosh, in Azure Dreams, that was my favorite thing to do. 
When I look at the Iron Heads individually, I start thinking they're people just like us. I must be getting soft. Ah, no, you're just finally getting realistic. When you're in this castle, you tend to lower your guard, don't you? Nope. I never have my guard up. <laughs> hey, Dominic. Hey, I got an eye full of those extraordinary wares! Don't want anything. Uh, okay, I have to admit, I kind of like the fact that they have all kinds of armor. Like, Dominic's really got kind of everything here. I kind of like that. Okay, did I talk to you already? We have guests. I'm told they're wearing Harmonian outfits. Oh, well, psh, they might not be Harmonian, they're just wearing outfits. Oh, that's so funny! Like, you can actually get stuck right there? Hey, Peggy. Excuse me. I'm trying to talk to you, Peggy. Goodness gracious. Peggy can sharpen that. Yeah, so here's the forge. I think I already have... Oh. I... Wait, what? Did I not get the hammer? Icon must not have gotten the hammer in this one, because... Not that it matters. But yeah, level... You need the, the last hammer in uh, XA Village, I believe it is. He must not have gotten it yet. Alright, and of course we have Juan here, which we have seen him quite a few times. Can I go in this door? I've never even noticed this door. Nope. You know, we can do training with Juan. Hey there, I just love training, don't you? Like, he says different things depending on who it is. So it was actually kind of funny, because when I was um, trying to find a save file that had everything I needed, one of them, actually Chris was the flame champion, and so I was running around as Chris instead. And people said slightly different things. Uh, he actually reacted to Chris differently. I don't remember what he said exactly, but... Uh, oh, hey. Let's talk to you. Nicholas. Evidently some guests... Yes, everyone's talking about the... Yes, one thing you'll notice here that Icon did that I never did is he actually planted all his plants, so Bart's actually growing all those seeds. I'd like to try growing yams, too. You brought the new seeds? I'll try them. Did I? Oh. Okay, I guess I did. Okay. Whatever. Yeah, thanks. I enjoy living here. Mithril Castle seems to be getting more lively by the- Okay, so, yeah. He named his castle Mithril Castle because it was Brass Castle, and he was like, what's better than Brass? So he was like, Mithril's like the strongest video game armor. Let's do Mithril. So he named it Mithril Castle to one of Brass Castle. He's probably gonna get a laugh out of that when he remembers that too, because he was just watching the video I posted about from the theater, he's like, oh, Rosphirion, that's what we named him. It seems that Chisha Village doesn't have enough Asian herbs. Of course, is there really an Asia? I don't know. <laughs> if you find a crystal ball, buy it on the spot. It'll fetch a high price in the Duck Clan Village. Step right up. Yeah, we've never actually been in here. I'm just not big in trading. Like, there's usually better ways to make money in Suikoden than trading. In fact, actually, I take that back. So again, in 5 is probably the only game I would do any kind of trading in, because there's just no real good gambling games in 5. And you really need money in 5. Again, it's kind of similar to 3 in a little bit, where they keep changing people on you over and over and over, and you gotta keep leveling everyone up and everything. Gosh, he's got a lot of spices and stuff in here. Whoops. I also thought it was odd that his trade shop was all the way down here. I feel like it should have been up on top with all the other places. I got Ruby... I don't know if Ruby lands so I can talk to her. I mean, all she's going to do is buzz at me anyway, but we'll talk to Franz. Hey, Franz. Seems there are guests in the Great Hall. People from Harmonia, apparently. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's in, uh, one of the doggies. Ruff, ruff. We got... Oh, hey. Red Wilder. Oh, I'm so hungry. You can depend on us to protect the castle. I wish you the best of luck. I didn't give Rhett... I almost said Rhett and Link. <laughs> I didn't give Rhett a, um... Duck voice. Thank you, watch. Why my watch always buzzes when I'm recording? Now it's giving me a weekly report. I averaged a screen time of two hours last week. That's how little I use my, my phone. How about giving lunch boxes to our guests as well? Okay, so here is the restaurant. This is part of the profits. Okay, so he must have been using the restaurant. So what you can do is it's similar to two, um, where you have ingredients and you can choose items to make. 
Uh, and then, you know, you can actually buy these things. Like, yeah, so the full course heals 300 health, and so we could buy that. Um, again, I'm not real big into using these. I, I kind of depends on how I'm playing. Sometimes I like to do it, sometimes I don't. Um, I guess Icon must have been using the restaurant a little. Yeah, and if you set the menu, you can go back and check for profits. Um, I think... Yeah, it's basically the same system as in 2 and 5. I don't know if there's a restaurant for I can't remember. But you basically just bring ingredients, and depending on what ingredients you have, like what you grow on the farm and what you find in the wild, she can have different items. Okay. So that was everything outside. So now we're in the castle. We're in the lower bowels of the castle here. Watari has nothing to say. Ugh, you know who's coming up, right? And I, I'm... Ugh, I just don't want to talk to him. I wonder what's all that noise upstairs? Ugh. Yes. Oh, God. You know, there are very few things I regret in my life. But one of them is losing the laptop that has the save file with all the Richmond data. I has been how many years, and I still have people asking me about it. And the funny thing is, I'm still looking for that laptop. Every time we move and we do a new inventory of items, that is literally the top thing on our list of things to find, is that red Samsung laptop. If I find it, I'm going to load it up and get that dang recording. But I'm not joking, you guys. I have not forgotten about Richmond. I know you guys want Richmond files. Like... Trust me, I did them all. And the irony is, we actually started recording it. I got half of those recordings, but guess what? They're still on the same dang laptop. <laughs> it's the same file. So, like, this was a huge lesson learned. Like, I have an external hard drive now that we have, un we actually put in our lockbox every time we move. And it has all the videos and all our, you know, we have two, actually, not actually, we have three external hard drives now. But one of them has my YouTube videos and all that stuff on it, and game data and all that. One has, like, all of our DVDs and backups of everything, and one of them has all our personal data. So they, they go in the lockbox every time we move, so it's actually with us. But, you know, lesson learned, so that won't happen again. But, gosh, you know, it's just like, every time I see him, this is all I think about is, is Richmond. <laughs> I bet you want to look into the mystery surrounding that child. Leave it to me. What child? He's not talking about Sasurai, is he? Sasurai is not a child. Sir. Oh, he must have been investigating somebody. Augustine. Okay, so... Just like all the others, you can go and look people up. No, I'm not doing it. <laughs> For several reasons. One, it would take a ridiculously long time, and second, there's no need by this point. I, I'm pretty sure there's a game fact somewhere that has them all listed of what they are. Um, so no. So yeah, you can, it's fun to do, you know, on your own, but if you really want to just, just look it up. I'm sure there's already YouTube videos on it. Um, sorry. <laughs> um, I don't have as much free time as I did back in the day. Actually, no, that's not true. I actually, to be fair, actually recently since my surgery, I actually do have more free time because I can't drive on my own yet. So I take that back, but that won't last too much longer. Just actually, that's one reason I'm doing so many videos now is uh, my, my time of free time will end shortly, I'm sure. Then I have to get back to all the normal things in life. <laughs> it's nice and damp today. Just my kind of weather. Yeah, to, actually that's one of the only things left that I haven't been able to do since my surgery is drive. And I probably could now. I'm just too wussy to try. Because I'm just, I'm worried that I don't have enough strength in my feet and legs to hit the brakes or accelerator fast enough, you know, if I'm tired. It seems we have guests. Yes, gosh. I'm so, I'm so sad that this is what everyone's talking about. But I don't, whoops, I didn't want to go upstairs. Go back downstairs. Unfortunately, I can't. I can't get to a point where I have everybody and we're not all talking about it. Just, ugh. Okay. Whoa, that startled me. I do still want to take part in your travel training, Noble Hugo. Okay. Oh, is that it? I feel like there's something blocking my way. Okay, so here's the elevator. I... Okay, yeah. So I, I don't actually want to. I want to get... Okay, so we could go back down to the sub-level, but I don't think... You know what? Okay, I'll come back and do the sub-level later, and I'll, I'll bring some people with me, because I think there's monsters down in the sub-level. It's been so long. The only, generally, the only time I go there is to get IK in the storyline. 
I don't know if anyone else is down there, but I'll check at the very end. Okay, Watari. No, not Watari. Oh, y'all, mate. Watari is her friend. Er, something. Her something. Okay, we'll start all the way down here. How on earth did that kobold get to be a warehouse keeper? Uh, excuse you, Mudo is awesome. I will not- Whoa, can I go back here? I didn't know you could. Oh my gosh! I didn't know they were back here! I don't think I've ever been back here. That's so funny. One of these days, the three of us are going to go off on an adventure together. Yeah, too bad. Sweet Kid in Six never happened. I I'll give it all I got, too. Oh my gosh, wouldn't that be amazing if Sweet Kid in Six was like later on, and then these three came back and they were all grown up? You'll see, Noble Hugo. I'm going to be a fantastic treasure hunter. That's so funny. I, I don't recall ever going back there. Hey, Mudo. Huh? Do you want me to look after that? Actually, I do. Can I leave some stuff with you, sir? Okay. I want to see if Icon had anything like books or something. He probably... Knowing him, he's probably better than me. He probably gave everybody everything. Yeah, he did. Oh, you know what? I forgot about the bathhouse. Call me when there's a fight. Okay, you know what? Oh, yeah, I like the graveyard. I'm gonna finish exploring this section over here real quick, and then we'll go back that way. Uh, yeah, okay. I just wanted to make sure there was nothing over here. There isn't. That's the elevator again. Okay, so then... Whoops! Whoa, almost went the wrong way. Don't want to go up just yet. I want to go over here. So here's the graveyard. It's kind of in the middle of the castle, strangely. Things are a bit noisy upstairs today. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's talking about the Sasserai. Everyone... Yeah, who would want to... I love little spirits floating around. Little will-o'-wisps. Can't really catch them, but you can, like, chase them around. It's kind of fun. Looks as we have guests. I wish I could show them the wonderful hole I dug. So I don't know if I've shown this off. I think I have shown this off previously, but there's a shipwreck and behind the castle, and they actually attach it to the castle. It's part of the castle. It's kind of neat. Actually, the egg's going to hatch pretty soon. You want to know whose duckling it is? That's a secret. What? Okay. Oh, hey, Lewis. It appears that some guests are waiting in the hall. This... Chris's room? Is she on the boat? Okay, um... Check out this room. Whoa! It's like in your face! Okay, I guess this is a Karaya room. They're probably not- you know what, I bet they're not in here because they're in this stupid great hall. Like I said, I was trying to recruit everybody for the theater, so everyone's moved. Can I go in here? Is this, I don't think I can. Yeah, I didn't think I could. Oh, gosh. I didn't see him back here. Don't let your guard down. Not even for a moment. Gosh, Fred, you are really hiding. When do the Maximilian Knights mobilize for action? Goodness, Captain. Congratulations. And I, didn't, I forgot to talk to Meg. Or er, Bell. <laughs> Wrong game. Hello. Well, I um, uh, seem to have some guests, but... Would you like to forget all about that and go out somewhere? We have guests. Yes, everyone really wants me to go talk to Sasserai. We'll get to it. Okay, Up on top of deck here, laundry. You know, I'll never forget that scene where uh, the girl who was doing laundry in 2 hung up Gengen to dry. That was amazing. Okay, um, talk to this little boy, why not? It is so great living on a boat. Or in a boat? Um, guessing this might be Ghetto's room. Don't actually know. Okay, so here's the bathhouse. Now, there are bath scenes, but unfortunately, Icon might have actually already viewed a chunk of them. I don't know. I'm trying to recall how long it's been since we first set out on our journey. I sure miss Tinto. 
I don't know if I'm going to show off the bast scenes. I guess I'll decide on that after this. Relax before you go. Whoops. Yeah, the thing about the bath scenes, they're just not as good in this one because you don't, well, not that I really want to see people bathing, but like you can't see anything. You just see this beautiful view, which is really pretty, but um, it's kind of fun to see the characters taking a bath sometimes. You just, I just get a laugh out of it. Like in, in 2 when I'd bring all the squirrels. Like here, I'd want to bring all the dogs, but it wouldn't be funny. And I actually don't know what I'd have to look up which what bath scenes there are I only know of a few offhand and I'm pretty sure it's not all of them we'll see okay there's a door here but I don't think I can go in it yeah I'm not succeeding in so because I think the problem is the camera angle just, yeah I can't get in there Sharon I am bored hey there let's go someplace oh hey Fudge Bright likes Mithril Castle too. Hey, Bright. No, I wasn't talking to you, Foot. I was talking to Bright. Yeah, he queezed just like Feather. Or Feather? That was from 2. Oh my gosh. Why am I brain farting so much and talking about 2? I haven't played 2 in a while. If anything, I should be talking about 5. I just played that one. The lake is very nice. But I like the ocean too. Yeah, wait a minute. Now that I think about this, this is a lake, isn't it? How did a... This looks like an ocean-going boat ship. Ugh, dang it, Helper would know. Helper knows the difference. This definitely looks like more like a ship that would... Excuse me. That would be on a... On the ocean, not... Not a lake. Okay, did I get everything on the boat? It looks like I did. Okay, so I think that's everything here on this boat ship. I don't know the difference, and I, uh, Helper's not here to tell me. Unfortunately, Helper's on another business trip. He had to take two weeks vacation to stay with me when I was recovering, so now he's got to make up for it with a lot of business trips. <laughs> I have to admit that it was a lot of fun having him around for two weeks. Okay, so that's that level. I think that's actually all the basement levels, except for, like, the very subterranean level, which I'll come back to. They were wearing Harmonia military uniforms, and they're guests? Guests? Okay, there's the elevator. There's Vicky. We definitely talked to Vicky enough times. I don't need to show Vicky off. Whoa! Again. Ugh, camera. So I can't control the camera in this game. For some reason, everyone seems to be gathered in the Great Hall. In THE Hall. Why did I say Great? Captain, wow, I drew having a post like that. doop doop -a doo Alright. Excuse me. We Zex and Knights are guarding Mithril Castle. You can rest easy. Yeah, yeah. Hey there, time for a game? Um, I think he's got the same game we did when we recruited him. Yeah, he just he does the same game. I think it's that matching weird game. Um, there's no point in me playing that again, honestly. Alright, Jefferson. I don't think we've talked to Jefferson. I'll never stop fighting as long as there are posts to be handed out in this world. Okay, so... I won't lie. I... I I've never really figured out this system. Now... So Hugo is captain, and so when he's got this position, he gets an attack skill plus one. A counter attack skill plus one. So... If I were to change... Chris... See, there's all these, like, roles and stuff, and they get different skills, and... I know a lot of people spend a lot of time on this, but I just... I just don't get it. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, I'm sorry. I just don't. I mean, you guys can probably put in the comments what it's supposed to do, and I know that different positions div give, div a kind of like a buff system, and I know like it can be really helpful in the big battlefields, but I've just... I've just never found a use for it, so I, I don't know much about the system, I'm sorry. It seems we have guests, indeed! They went over into the Great Hall over there! Oh, it is the Great Hall! It's just some people call it just the Hall. Everyone is waiting for you in the Hall. It's not great to me, it's just it's that duck. Alrighty, let's talk to these fine young women. Yuri, there's so many different clans in this castle. Yep. It seems there is something important to discuss. Please come to the hall. God, you're not in the hall. Why are you telling me to go to the hall? 
I ordered some snake frog liver from Kalaria, but no one's interested. How come? It's delicious. And of course, the all-important save point. I really like the fact that there's a save point here in this castle. You don't have to go to this stupid inn. I believe the guests are from Harmonia. You know, I think I saw the bishop's rogues. Oh! Yeah, Icon actually hung some stuff up. I think that's graffiti up there. She's got some potted plants. Everyone is waiting for you in the hall, Noble Hugo. Please hurry. Oh, I did miss a section of the outside, but I'll go hit it up real quick. Uh, hey, Rody. I wonder what's going on. Everyone seems so tense. Everyone's gathered in the hall. Oh. It seems that everyone was in the hall, but... Hey, Tuta. Do you need a physical exam? Mio, you seem terribly busy. How's your health, Noble Hugo? I wish I could win the lottery. Maybe I should become a treasure hunter. Oh, I wish I were rich. Yeah, but there's pains to being rich, too. Trust me. I mean, I'm not rich, but out of a lot of people I know, I can they consider me rich. <laughs> They're like, you have money, do anything you want, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, yeah, but money doesn't bring happiness. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> the bar. So, yeah, here we got um, Anne. Is juice all right for you, Hugo? Yeah, so, depending on who the main character is, she'll say different things for sure. So she'll always offer Hugo juice. I don't know what she offers to Ghetto. Um, and for Chris, she I think she offers wine. So funnily enough, going back to when the PlayStations all exploded, and I thought I was going to have to replay the whole game again, I was actually going to replay as Ghetto, and then record the scenes as I was replaying it, where the scenes were different for Ghetto, but... Fortunately, I didn't have to replay the whole game. Okay, so Topo. Topo. So they actually um, let you replay music. I. Are they playing anything? My music's turned down really low, so I don't even. I can't hear if they are playing something. But yeah, just like a lot of the other games, there's. Um, you just pretty much choose any music you've heard so far, and they'll play it. Okay. I think if you talk to any of them, they'll do that. Would you like to hear me, Shaban, play the drum? Yeah, okay. Unfortunately, to talk to Nay, she's gonna say something. I don't even know if I can get back there to Nay. She might be blocked. Can I talk to her? Oh, good. Would you care to listen to a tune? No, I just wanted to talk to you. Alright, so that's it for the tavern. Now, I believe if they're not all in the Great Hall, a lot of the mercenaries will be in here. Hmm, there's nothing like drinking in the daytime. Oh, hey, you're here. There's nothing I like drinking while the sun's still out? Oh, sorry. There's nothing like drinking while the sun's still out. <laughs> I completely misread that. <laughs> Okay, so I did show this off in another video, and I'll do this again later, but you could, if you talk to the dog, you can run around the castle as the dog, and I will do that again in a bit. I just want to finish touring the castle, so like, I know I'm kind of saving a lot of things till later, but there are people from Harmony in the hall. Now we're in trouble. Edge, why do you care? You were hanging around in What's-His-Face's village. The, the Mantor village. Whee! Yeah, it's still a horse. I started training so I can eventually join the castle guards. Okay, now we've gotten everything outside. I don't think anyone's hiding out in the corner here. Okay. Wow, can you believe it? We're, we're actually pretty close to the end of the castle. How many videos did it take before? It took a ridiculous amount of videos to record the castles before. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go into the Great Hall. I think I can talk to everyone but Caesar. I'm pretty sure nothing will happen by, yeah, just by walking in here. So here's Nash. We might want to consider what may or may happen if the rune is destroyed. What if happens? Oh, yeah. Nothing will happen. Yeah, right. A chance to put into this useless war is near. Yeah, I have to agree. This is kind of a useless war. Oh, okay. To protect my clan in the grasslands. I'm trying to talk to Sergeant Joe. Why the way? You either go or you don't. Which is it? <laughs> hey, Dupa. I don't care who it is. If it's an enemy, we'll have to defeat them. 
uh, Apple? Destroying the true rune. This has never happened before in the recorded history. Okay, sorry. I just had a brain fart back on five. No, that's different. That was a different situation. Never mind. We never even dreamed that such a thing could happen. The enemy frightens me to death, but if the destruction of the rune would raise the grasslands in Zexen, I will fight to defend my castle. I would like to make this our last battle. He said the right. Hey, Chris. I really hope this will be our last, our last final battle. <laughs> it's like Final Fantasy. How many are? How many are there? Uh, if you're not going, we'll just have to go home. Crystal Valley should be safe enough for now. I said the right. You need to make up your mind. Oh my gosh, I got a comment the other day that Hicks should have been in this game. Yes, Hicks should have been in this game, but he's not. Okay, now unfortunately if I talk to Caesar, it will move on with story. And I'm pretty sure all he's going to say is, are you ready to leave? So no, that's storyline. And we've already done it, so let's head on upstairs. Oh, hey Joker. Yeah, there's some kind of commotion. Who cares? Do you want to have a drink? <laughs> Alright, we'll start in the very back. Hey, Lucy. Leave the castle to me. You've got other things to take care of. And beach him? I'll be glad to help at any time. Just say the word. Okay. Yeah, we've seen that room several times. Oh, hey, Boris. What's wrong? Everyone's waiting for you in the hall. Perthful. It looks like we have guests. You know, I do have to give them credit. You know, unlike the previous two castles, this actually looks like a castle somebody would live in. I mean, the rooms are all distinct. They're the bedrooms, they're work rooms. They're all nicely designed. They have bookshelves, plants, I mean, it is nicely designed. I had to give them credit for that. Um, and I also like the fact that they make a point that it's still kind of falling apart. There's, there's holes and stuff in the walls. I think that's kind of cool. They did a good job. Hey, Augustine. Hey, buddy. It looks like another new friend is coming. Yep, that's right. This room is chilly, isn't it? It's really hard to see, but there's a Dark Knight statue, I think, up there. Oh, hey, Mua. It seems the guests are waiting in the hall on the first floor. One of the puppies. Which I'm guessing is a girl puppy. And the only reason I say that is because it occurred to me when editing my videos that she always- that that white one always showed up for, for female roles. And then I was like, well, I guess pink is generally associated with females as well. Okay, more graffiti. Oh, the comment box. Check out the comment box. Mio says it's great. Franz brought Ruby to the clinic and Tuta cured his cold. Well done. Hold on a minute. I thought Ruby was a female mentor. Or did Franz have the cold? Anyways. Connie. Oh! Cecile wrote it. Nice weather. You're Cecile. I was like, Connie wrote us a letter. Greetings, I'm Bosma the Lizard Clan, and I'm assistant of Chief Dupa. I'll show you the power of our clan. Hello, Thomas. It's a nice castle. Um. I guess I can read all these he's met before. I'm Lily's attendant, Samus. Excuse me. I'm dark, but I'm not a Karayan? What? I tell you this because people get us mixed up. Oh, he's trying to say he's evil? Oh no, his skin is- Oh my gosh, I never noticed that. <laughs> Asperger's for the win. <laughs> I, yeah, funnily enough, I'm usually- Okay, so real quick side story. When I was recovering, um, I ended up playing a game called Lamplight City. It was an adventure game by uh, Grundislav, and it was amazing, by the way. I freaking loved that game. And if you like adventure games and you like mysteries, like detective stories, I highly recommend it. There's not a lot of gameplay, I'll give it that. It's mostly talking, like talking to people and solving the mystery through talking to people and like deducing what's going on based by talking to people. 
But um, I got stuck at one point in the game because I couldn't figure out what to do. And it's and so I finally asked Helper for some help. And I didn't realize this. And I, I am so clueless when it comes to this stuff. Like, I, I, I honestly, I don't like to blame everything on Asperger's, but I kind of do on this one. I, I got stuck because there's racism in the game, you know, because it's set in Victorian times. And like um, like this made up American Victoria times, and so like everyone's real racist against Af I guess African Americans or I don't know how you want to call them blacks I guess, but I didn't even realize my wife was black, like I didn't even notice it, like I didn't even think about it, and I needed I needed her to do something for me because she was black and there was racism in the game, and I didn't even figure that out. Like I finally had to look it up, and I was so confused, and Helper had to explain it to me. I was like, oh yeah, she is. Oops. You know, he was laughing at me. He's like, how would you not notice? I'm like, I just don't notice. Like, it, I, I just, I, it's like I struggle sometimes. Like, 50% of the time when I meet somebody, I can't tell the difference between they're a guy or a girl. <laughs> I'm awful. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm, I'm real slow on the uptake sometimes with that stuff. Which I guess is a good thing in a way. But it's also kind of confusing to some people. Like, how could you not notice? And I'm like, I'm sorry. I just see a human in front of me. That's all I see. I don't see the difference. Anyways, that aside. Joker says, a desire. Is it okay to write what we want? I'd like to drink all the world, all the drinks in the world and cheaply. Cecile says, hi, it's a fine day today. It's great to work on a day like this. Dupa says, our lizard clan will fight for our homes, the weak and the young. Don't waste our strength. Shiva says, want to be strong? Then come and train with us. Gadget Z says, don't fall in love with me. <laughs> Warning, don't fall in love with me. Jefferson says, There are many young people that fool around in this castle. They need morning training. Elliot says, Hello, Hugo. How are you? I'm fine. All right again. Byron, why did you kick me, you big butt? Oh, you're just turning over. Okay. Yeah. Oh, no. And I'm being called by a salesman. Shut up, phone. I'm recording. Thomas gave me an empty room to use for research. I could do research I've never done. Thank you, Hugo. Lord says, if you put a letter in this box, will something happen? Nope. If you want me to speak up, I'll share my ideas. That's it, says Dominic. Lewis says, nice to meet you. If there's anything I can do, please tell me. Kathy says, this is my first time seeing a crying horse. It's cute with stripes. I'll take care of it. Please, so please come to the ranch. Uh, Mio says, it's a nice homeland, Hugo. The patients would love to come to the clinic. Oh, and she also said, I'd like to give Tudo a present on his birthday, but I don't know what to give. What would you give Hugo? Colomy says, Recently this castle is getting more lively. It's because Hugo's ability. I'll support you secretly. <laughs> so yeah, actually, you if you keep reading this constantly, you can get quite a few letters. Okie dokie. So let's read the newspaper. Okay, we've already read this one. I know we have. Unfortunately, unlike five, you can't go back and read previous ones that I know of. I, I don't know if you can. I think they always just... Hold on. Pushing R L1 cancels out? What? Does any button come out? Oh! Oh no, it's just two pages. You can't go back. That stinks. What's going on downstairs? They better not be partying without me. Would you care to read the bulletin? How about you let me read previous bulletins, Arthur? Oh, hello, Captain. You know, it's such an honor for his castle folks when you stop and chat. No, okay, I'm bothered by this. Can I can I go up and down? Okay. Left and right. Just does this. What does start do? Select? Nope. Okay. I have literally pushed every button. Wanna play? I don't have time, sorry. The world is full of all sorts of people, isn't it? Coming to this castle has been very educational for me. Don't think you can go out here. Nope. Oh. Icon, you didn't hang up anything over here. Not, not that I blame him. I mean, why would you walk all the way over there? I'm surprised he put as much as he did. Like, there's graffiti everywhere. <laughs> We're actually at the end here. Gosh. That can't be right. Yes, well, I, I hope your studies prove helpful. Did I already go through the whole castle minus the basement? Okay, yeah, so she's the tutor. We've seen her before. I've had to come to her several times. 
Young Vicky. Yeah, it looks like someone important is visiting. Yes, yes. All right, here's uh, Billy. Yeah, we'll play first in the Meet the Guests. So he's got that stupid, obnoxious game. No, we're not playing it. You guys saw me fail at this before. So yeah, he lets you play this game. Unfortunately, no Chin Chin Rurin for us. I guess they realized that it was A, too fun, and B, too lucrative. They have some pretty interesting novels here as well. They don't measure up to mine, though. Hmm? Oh, nothing. You know, I don't understand why they didn't just keep adding Chin Chin Rurin in every week in it. It should have just been a staple. Like, it should... Yes, you can add other mini games, but really, it should never have left. I mean, that is like... Classic sweet in. Hey, IK. Books are friends for life. Now, here's one thing I am a little concerned about. I don't know if Icon has all the books. Oh, it looks like he does. So, Kirio Delights. Okay, so basically he just... It just shows... Why I say he? It's a book. It just shows all of the stuff and what they're worth. Tarek's list of finds? In my travels, I have seen these items beyond the grandest dreams, but as the winds of the trade are strong, stock will not be plentiful for long. Tart Wanderer. Karaya Clan. Lightning Leather. Okay, so this is just a list of items and rare items you can find. See, the Ixay Village lists the Golden Hammer, if you look in the very bottom right. So this is before the days of, like, um, internet walkthroughs and stuff like that. The game was trying to be helpful. So yeah, I just list things like Chisha Clan is middle set number four. Ooh. Um, the crystals are all runes. So yeah, that's helpful. Approach with caution. Approach these people with caution. Yeah, so this is a list of people you might easily miss. Watari, fugitive ninja last seen near Ixay Village. So I don't remember what you call it at the very beginning. He's kind of hiding in the shadow, so he's hard to see. Excuse me. Gordon, the supply shop proper... Properator? That's not even a word. Proprietor in Ixay Village says he's practicing to become a gentleman. Landis, a winged horde, a wing, wing horde. I thought it was winged horde. Youth looking for his niche in this world, spotted in Kupo Forest. See now, that's helpful. But what they don't mention is you need an empty spot in your party. Now, it's kind of like I wish they had said one more sentence of willing to help you out. That would have given you a hint. So like similar to the squirrels. Melville, St. Lo at night. His father's a treasure hunter and is rarely at home with him. Um, Ayame, female ninja, said to be chasing another ninja. Little knowledge of her, this person exists. Golame makes a ruckus wherever he goes. Seen looking at the ruins of the ancient highway. Yeah, remember that. I screwed that up. Hortez, a uh, young scroll maker at Mithril, makes good scrolls, but is completely unable to discern directions. Seen at Cal Calaria and at Duck and Chisha villages. It's interesting that they mention where he is now. A Stella, a traveling wizard, said to be an Alma Keenan. Her as a younger... Wait. Rhodey's her brother? Ugh. Tends to deceive people. I did not know that. Arthur, always in search of his next newspaper story. Interested in the recent incident at the barrier checkpoint. Alanis, nothing is known of her since she moved away. Reportedly seen the Great Hollow. Wow, this is one updated book. Jefferson appears unexpectedly in busy places and assigns titles to people. And Kit, a young sleuth who has been covered many cases as far as said to be in the Duck Clan village. Birth of the 27 True Runes. <laughs> we get to read it again. In the beginning, there existed only long, long darkness. Over time, darkness grew lonely. The loneliness became a heavy sorrow. Darkness eventually cried one tear. From the tear were born two brothers, Sword and Shield. Not Pokemon Sword and Shield. <laughs> Just Sword and Shield. Uh, Sword said it could cut all that exists. Shield replied that it could nothing could that nothing could even scratch it. They fell into war. This war last their war lasted seven days and seven nights. In the end, sword breached shield, and shield broke sword. Pierce, pieces of sword rained down to make the sky, and pieces of shield rained down to make the earth. Their battle flashes became the stars. The 27 gems adorning the sword and shield transformed into 27 true runes, and thus the world began its life. Trader's Handbook. Every good trader gathers information at every place to visit. Check the prices of goods. When you notice price differences, buy an item where it's cheap and sell where it's expensive. Shops need time to replenish supplies you bought. Use that time to visit other trade shops. Sell what you have and then buy goods said to be desired elsewhere. One famous trader bought salt in Kalari and sold it for triple the price in Vinny del Dexe. Deer antlers were cheap there. He took several back to Kalari and made a fortune. If only his pet dragon hadn't eaten it all. Whoa, hold on a minute. His pet dragon? Well, was he from the Scarlet Moon Empire? Because it's the only place you could get dragons. Although, to be fair... 
I think some dragons escaped from the dragon knights and became wild, so maybe it was a wild dragon, but that's really rare. Because don't forget that dragons are actually from another dimension in Suikoden, and they only brought over from that dimension from the dragon rune, which is one of the 27 true runes. So it's not like dragons are common in Suikoden, they're actually quite rare. Your ability to carry- which is not the same as salamanders, by the way, which are random monsters we're seeing around, those aren't dragons. Your ability to carry items is limited. Store your purchases at the warehouse if you can't sell them right away. Keep your ear to the wall and to the wind. You never know what story you hear will point the way to a hefty profit. The Placebo Unification War. In 460 Solar Calendar, an ally of cities known as the city-state of Jousten broke a ceasefire agreement without warning and annihilated the Highland Youth Army. In response, Prince Luke of Blight of Highland invaded, invaded Toto and Rube villages, spawning the Placebo Unification War. Jousten leaders sought more cooperation among cities, but were denied even as Highland killed Mayor Annabelle and captured city Muse, the most important of the Jousten cities. South Window City fell next. Total Highland victory was certain until the remnants of the state army joined with mercenaries at North Window Castle to organize a new resistance movement against Prince Blight. These new allied forces were led by the son of the hero Gunkaku, who saved Jousten in the past. The new allied forces endured Highland attacks and succeeded in rescuing Greenhill Mayor City. The Green Hill City Mayor Teresa Wisemail, after Matilda Knightum dismissed a request for military help, half its knights defected to join the new allied forces. With their numbers augmented, they launched a challenge against Highland, which now was now completely controlled by Luca Blight as Emperor due to the sudden death of his father, Agares. Uh, despite Highland's numer numerical superiority, its army was unable to deliver a decisive blow against the allies led by Shu, a clever tactician. Emperor Blight chose a sneak attack to sneak attack the heart of the Allied forces, the plan was discovered in advance, however, the Allied forces waited patiently for Blight's ambush. Under full moon, the slaughter was reversed, with the attackers not even realizing they'd been surrounded. Emperor Luca's death passed the, to the, passed the throne to Princess Julia, husband of 17, Joey Blight. Joey Blight, however you want to pronounce it. Inspired by the ambush, the Allied forces liberated Tinto and Green Hill City. They wanted to capture Matilda Knightum's stronghold, Rockaxe Castle, and then turn their attention to Highland, Imperial capital La Renewal. La Renew? I don't know how to pronounce that, sorry. Nearly everyone defending the capital died. Emperor Jowie Blight was last seen torching the city. Duh! During the torching of the city. He torched his own city. <laughs> the Highland Kingdom was no more, and the Royal Blight family legacy came to an end. Forge before foraging. Iron. Ha okay, so this just tells you where everything is. Um, the basic tool for forging a weapon up through level 9, sometimes found in Great Hollow. The copper. Uh, quality design for forging up to level 12 spot in Calaria, but what has it been, in it's been spot in Calaria at one time or another? Silver hammer, a real beauty, makes forging a pleasure, can eventually bring a dull blade up to level 15, said to be hidden in the duck village. And the golden hammer, level 16 forges? Go for the gold when you need the very best, look for further than, um, well, actually no one knows. XA? It's funny, isn't gold really soft? Win the lottery. If you want to get filthy rich, the lottery is your ticket. Ha <laughs> ha. Here's all you need to know. Question one, how can I buy a ticket? Answer one, go to the lottery sales outlet. One ticket costs 100 pots. You can buy up to 10 tickets for a drawing, but only during the sales period. When the sales period stops, the payout and drawing period starts. Uh, when the, hold on. When the sales period stops, the drawing and payout period starts. That's when you should check your numbers and collect any winnings. Question two, how much can I win? Answer two, the typical range is 500,000 for first prize and 3,000 for fourth prize. Complimentary and grand prizes also exist. Oh, goodness. Okay, well, we don't need to read any of this. Alright, fine. Complimentary prizes differ by seller. The tricky part is cashing in your winners. That can be only be done where you bought them. Remember that. And that, for that matter, remember winning tickets can only be confirmed within three lottery draws after it was purchased for. Any later than that, your ticket is void. But once you've identified a ticket as a winner, you're free to carry it around until you burn a, it burns a hole in your armor. <laughs> the rest is up to you. Do you know that saying players win watchers lose well it's true may have the last dance with lady luck hmm book of beasts holly leaf creature 1.5 feet tall usually jumps and attacks with body appears in zexan forest wild boar boar very mean disposition attacks by ramming mostly appears on planes oh my gosh blade bunny oh my gosh this better not be the whole beast here because i'm gonna get really tired real fast Looks like a typical white rabbit, but yields a stone hatchet. Mostly appears on the plains. Nariquia. Humanoid tail attacks with own blasts and by controlling other monsters. Appears in the vicinity of the flame champion's hideaway. Bronze sun. Huge humanoid. Skin yellowish with green pattern. Floats in air and attacks with light. Appears near ancient highway and FC hideaway. Richard Flame Champion. Mirage. 
Red full body armor. Uses sword to strike one target or multiples to strike several targets at once. Appears around Mount Sinai. Excuse me. Creeper. Green plant life which... F green plant life form. Green plant life form which sucks enemies into body cavity. Appears... Whoa, where are you going, buddy? Hold on. Buddy, you can't just get up. Ah, hold on, guys. Hold on. All right, there you go. Ugh, okay. <laughs> Again, Byron. It's so funny when Byron wakes up, he doesn't just kind of slowly wake up. He wakes up and just shoots off. He's like, I gotta get up. And we were on the couch, so I didn't want him to fall off. Okay. Green plant life form, which sucks enemies into its body cavity, appears in Zexan Forest. Magician. A flying humanoid with various magic skills empowered by cards. Acrobatic kick attack appears in North Cavern and Mount Sinai. Siren. Fish's lower body, humanoid's upper body, blue, holds lyre. Sleep magic and water rune attacks appears in Homeland and at Cinder Ruins. Shadow. A zombie-like being with a wrapped head and neck, claws and pile driver attacks mostly appears in Sex and Forest. Zomb- Zomb Unicorn. Which is Zombie Unicorn. A white unicorn 1.5 times larger than a regular horse, skewers enemies or attacks with magic, encountered at North Cavern. Byron, be careful, sweets. You're gonna trip over every cable, aren't you? Yes. Okay, good. Soul Slug. Light blue body, transparent flame breather, can also absorb strength of enemies, primarily appears along ancient pathway. You know, I think the zombie unicorn might be in every major Suikoden game. Song Sprite. Sprite in red clothing. Well, the multi they're all different colors, but attach attacks with dull pitch as part of a chorus. I guess that specific one. Can inflict damage in multiple targets in Sex and Forest. Grand Holly, Holly Tree Master, attacks by releasing several smaller holly leaves encountered in Zexan Forest. Salamander, Dragon Monstrosity, which is funny, wasn't I just saying that these technically aren't dragons? I think they're dragon-like, but they're not technically dragons. They can't be. Uh, dragon Monstrosity surrounded in flame, or shrouded in flames. Fire-breathing attack while airborne mostly appears in mountainous areas. Wolf, Wolf, <laughs> a pounces on enemies to attack, known to appear on the plains. I guess going back to the salamander, when you say dragon monstrosity, it could be like dragon-like monstrosity. It's kind of like the maned wolf isn't a wolf, you know? They just call it a wolf because it looks like one. Oh. Uh, apparently there's something we haven't seen. Arachnvor. Giant spider. Vivid yellow and black stripe pattern attacks with... Byron? With a jumping... Cl a clawing jump, oh, sorry. I swear, Byron is magnetized towards everything I don't want him to go near. It's like, he's like, what cable's everywhere? Let me walk on him. Skeleton. A fighting skeleton that appears with an axe appears on Mount Sinai along an ancient pathway. Killer bee. Bee-like creature with a sting attack encountered on plains. Good gosh. How many are there? Is this literally the whole bestiary? I, I don't think I've ever gone through it. Mega walkie. One-eyed vegetation monster. Really? A eye emits a beam. Also attacks with claws. Stalks beneath the ground at Homeland. Peckles, ivory colored boar, attacks with ramming enemy by ramming enemies. <laughs> he attacks with ramming enemies. He just throws enemies and they ram into you. Primarily encountered on planes. Gold boar, purple boar, attacks by ramming in with electrified horns on its back, appears mostly on planes. Rabbit, rabbit, ivory colored rabbit, missing one eye. Really? They're all missing one eye? Is that genetic? And and part of one ear. So they're all missing half an ear and an eye. That's so weird. Attacks with a single-bladed axe appears on planes. Dark hair, a single horn black rabbit fights effectively with double-bladed axe, mostly appears on planes. I don't know why, I just had a flashback to Monster Rancher 2. It just feels like it should belong there. Copper Sun, giant humanoid, brownish with red coloring, floats in air and attacks with light. Appears at Flame Champion's hideaway. Banshee, the lower part of a fish, the upper part of a humanoid, holds a lyre, orange, sleep magic with rune attacks, appears in the North Cavern area. Ghost Slug, pink transparent flame breather, can also absorb in strength of enemies. Appears at North Cavern, Mount Sinai, Brass Castle, and Ancient Pathway. Troll Dragon, dragon shaped mon- yeah, this is dragon shapes. Monstrosity wrapped in flames, flies, flies and breathes fire. Appears on plains, mountains, and near Sindar ruins. Shadow Dog, wolf, has furless tail and, co and a color pattern on legs. Leaping and breathing attacks most often appears on plains, Byron. Thank you, sweetie. Doku, Doku Gumo. Giant spider, vivid red and black stripes, attacks with clawing jump, mostly appears on planes. Tarantula, 
giant brown spider attacks the jumping clawing jump can also damage anyone within its nest. Appears in Kupo Forest. Devil Eye. Oh my gosh, this is like half the freaking video. Features a giant eye on its head that shoots a beam. Also attacks with claws, like mountainous areas. Holly Elf. Red winged humanoid sprite. Strikes with a baton and calls on holly leaves to make focus attacks. Appears in Zexan Forest. Song Sprite. Okay. Appears in blue. Attacks with re pitch. Uh, yellow with me pitch. Green with fa pitch. Purple with soul pitch. Pink with la. White with tea. Furfly. Small blue furry creature. Attacks directly with its body. Mostly encountered on planes. Red, s small red furry creature attacked directly with body, mostly in clutter on planes. This one's yellow. Wow, he's missing quite a few. Mantric, Manticra. Giant red-like creature that punches... Sorry, a giant red crab-like creature that punches enemies can paralyze with froth. You use its remains for cooking, mostly in Zexan Forest. A red one. Known by its mostly red shell. Strikes with appendages. Paralyzing attack. Use it for cooking. Vermin... Vermitor? A red bug with thorns on its back. Explosive projectile attack can be used while... Flying. Appears in Zexan Forest. A blue bug with thorns on its back. Explosive projectile attack can be used while flying. Appears in Kupo Forest. Malifux. Malifo? I'm guessing it's Malifo. A uh, pillar with faces on front and back, trample attack, orbiting by objects with smell. Byron! Sweets. Is there some reason you have to walk constantly back and forth over all the cables? Okay, well, we made it through again. Gosh, was it the fourth time? He's just walking back and forth. I think he's trying to get my goat on this. Uh, trample attack, orbited by objects with smash attack, it's under ruins and ancient highway. Yeah, I saw about a bajillion of these when I was leveling in the LP. Oh, my favorite one of all time, the Azadesk. God, I hate those things. Winged humanoid attacks with arrows of light and by summoning shadows to inflict damage appears near Flame Champion's hideaway. Okay, so real quick side story. I'm sure you guys remember how irritated I was by these things. Like, beyond irritated. Not only are they obnoxious with their attacks, but they just take like 4 billion years to attack. It's just so annoying. And I was really irritated. I'm sure you guys could pick up on that. So anyways, after my surgery and I was um, playing this to catch up, Byron, would you please just sit, sweets? Is there a reason you have to constantly walk back and forth over every cable? Um, <laughs> it's funny, I had to fight a whole bunch of these guys, and I was still irritated, but man, could I feel the difference. Like, I wasn't nearly as angry about it. Like, and Helper could tell too. Helper's like, well, at least you're not so frustrated. Okay, now Byron is literally walking in circles over it. Like, he just waltzed all over the actual device that's recording this. Because I didn't want to sit like in front of the TV and do this, so I'm actually sitting on the couch. The, the cable is literally spread over like an 8 foot distance. <laughs> it's not a problem when he's on the sleep on the couch with me, but he doesn't want to do that right now. Ghost armor. A fully armored being that attacks with an axe. Byron. Just sit your butt down until I'm done, okay? Then you can walk around. Can break into smaller pieces for an attack. I'm countered on Mount Sinai. Byron! Don't you dare step on the PlayStation. Oh no! Don't you even think about it. He's a little- okay. Byron, left. Please don't step on the PlayStation. No, 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 Get off the PlayStation! Byron, off, 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 off the PlayStation! Byron, he's like literally standing on it. Thank you. <laughs> exactly. He's all wagging his tail. <sighs> yeah, are you proud of yourself? You interrupted. I just screamed into the microphone. I am so sorry, guys. I'll make sure that's not too loud. Okay. <laughs> Please, buy just sit down. I'm almost done. Dagger wing. Wing creature with enormous head. Drops enemy from the air and shoots multiple arrows from mouth. Appears near North Cavern. Twin snake. Huge Mount Sinai beast with two snake heads emerging from both sides. Tongue and beam attacks from mouth. Flame and cold attacks from snakes. Water dragon. The biggest dick in the entire series. That's not what it says, but water dragon with ten beautiful side fins guarded by six ice columns appears at... Appears at Sindar Runes and the true water rune seal is broken. Oh, I thought we were near the end because we had bosses. Mordolo, a round creature with eyes as it pa as turns past, it expands, turns red, and explodes. Appears at Flame Champion's hideaway. Purple Creeper, purple plant life form which sucks enemies into body cavity, appears on planes. Oh, Byron finally settled down. 
Bone Soldier, a fighting skeleton that attacks with an axe encounter at North Cavern. Blue Mantic, uh, known by its vividly colored bluish shell, attacks with laser appendages, laser appendages and paralyzing froth. Laser appendages. Mostly encountered in Koopa Forest. Taro Knight, wears green, full body armor, attacks with sword and by breaking up into smaller pieces for multiple targets on Ancient Pathway. Spark Beetle, a green bug with thorns on its back, explosive projectile attack, can fire several while flying, appears in Zexan Forest. Fire Rune Incarnation, immense fire dragon with wings shrouded in flame, appears at Flame Champion Tide Away when the True Fire Seal rune is broken. True Fire Rune Seal. Uh, Ghost Knight, armor, armored upper body, lower body of a horse, attacks with light and explosions from spear and with a frontal charge at North Cavern. Uh, stone Golem, buddy made of rough stone, huge right arm used to attack, can jump and deliver punches to multiple foes upon landing, appears on planes. Oh, horror, horror, a flightless green bird with much plumage on its head, stabs with beak and kicks at enemies, mostly appears on planes. Chon Chon, uh, butterfly with red and blue wings, absorbs enemy strength and spreads airborne poisonous powder, appears in mountainous areas. Yellow Svire, yellow dolphin-like mountain sprite with unique pattern on its back and fins, attacks with horns on its head with also with its tail. Blue one, it's the same thing but blue. Blight, a flightless black bird with much plumage on its head, stabs with beak and kicks at enemies, mostly appears on planes. A chocho, a, a butterfly with color gradation on wings, absorbs enemy strength and spreads airborne, airborne poisonous powder, appears beneath homeland. Oh, thank goodness it's the end of it. I know I'm missing some, but honestly, I'm sorry. You guys don't need to see. We probably have, we might have actually seen them in the LP. Icon might not have seen it. All right, the last book, Gourmet Adventure. Every village and city has at least one specialty, and it's not, and it's, it'd be foolish to not try them all. Here for the first time in one book is all you need to know about the finest sub substance your potch can buy. As any lizard will tell you, the popularity of this special stew at Great Hollow is well deserved. There's no use going to Claria if you're not going to indulge in their fried rice. Over at the Duck Village, they've got a tomato soup worthy of being a lottery prize. You don't have to be in Dexin to fall in love with Groton in Vinya dos Exe. In Exe Village, the beef and potatoes and grilled fish taste just like Mom used to make them. Huh, okay. I'm surprised. For some reason, the, the fish threw me off. Cake is the quickest and sweetest way to every woman's heart in Alma Keenan. Busy Labukians know there's no beating the price and volume of a local lunchbox. Chinese noodle soup is a way... Again, is there China in this game? It's always worth a trip to Chisha Village. You haven't tried noodle soup like this before. Even if you can't stomach the local water, always stop to enjoy the culinary delights. <laughs> I think there's only 10 books in this game, but... That's what we've got. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and just... There's one place left, I believe. I think we have literally seen everything. Yeah. Can you believe it, guys? We've got this whole one... Oh, this whole castle in one video. I think the only thing left to show is... The basement. And because I think there's enemies down there, and even though Hugo could probably take them, I'm just gonna make this quicker by... Um, getting some friends. Fubar... Uh, Sergeant Joe. Why not? Yeah, Lily can come too. I'm not that particular. I don't think we're in. The, I don't think we're in trouble. I just want this to go quickly. Um. Yeah. Why not? Let's bring Duke. I bet he'd love to go beat up on some stuff. And Nicholas. Why not? Okay. Let's go. And one nice thing about this game, I don't know if I mentioned this, is I probably did, but just in case, I'll mention it again. Unlike the other previous two games, anytime you change up the party, it would reload the whole castle. In this one, it only reloads if the people aren't in that room. So if I had somebody that was in that room at the time and I recruited them, then the screen would reload. But I think four and five are very similar. I know five does the same thing. If nobody in the room you recruited is... If they're not in the room, then it doesn't have to reload the whole thing. Okay, so let's go to the sub-level. I don't know if anyone's down there, but you know, I can't remember. I don't... Let's just go and check it out, just in case. Why not? Don't remember this being very long, anyway.
Oh good, there are enemies down here. The auto. I think we got it. You know I love RPGs. And I love RPGs that aren't too difficult. Like, I don't know. I kind of feel like RPGs... Um, that's what I love about Suikoden and Dragon Quest in particular. You know, I, I guess these are JRPGs. I should I should be more specific about that these days, because when I talk to gamers, when I say RPGs, they think of like Skyrim and Dragon Age, and I, I mean JRPGs. But anyway, so JRPGs. I love playing them, but I, recently I've discovered... I don't know if it's going to be older and lazier or what, but um, I just don't enjoy RPGs that are too difficult anymore. Like, I've been trying so hard to play Final Fantasy IV. In fact, I started it while I was recovering. Because I've tried several times to play Final Fantasy IV, and I've just had trouble getting into it. Like, if you're wondering what version I'm playing, too, I'm playing the um, version on the iPad, which I believe Icon told me um, is, the, is the port of the DS remake. Okay, this is something we probably haven't ever seen. All of the, the sprites attacking us. That was kind of cute. <laughs> wow, and ultimately did almost nothing. So anyways, I've been trying to play Final Fantasy IV, and I'm so frustrated by that game, because I feel like more at times, I'm just spent just mindlessly leveling, or like doing something stupid. Like, I got, I got stuck at one point. And I was reading a walkthrough, because the problem is, I don't want to. I don't want to follow a walkthrough unless I need it. So I have one open on my iPad, and when I get real stuck, I'll open it up and check what am I doing wrong or something. Because, and like at one point, I got stuck in this tower because I was just doing so badly. And it's like, oh well, if you take a side quest, you can get a really good sword that'll help you. And I'm like, okay, fine. Fortunately, oh my gosh, you can't believe how lucky I was. It's like the stone sword or something. I actually got it like within 30 minutes like i think that's supposed i think that's pretty quick compared to what i read because it's supposed to be like a super rare drop from these creatures but so i got the sword and it helped me through the area but now i'm stuck again it's like i get stuck every five freaking seconds on this game and now i can't beat this boss and i've tried this boss three times and i'm not under leveled i'm over leveled it's just the problem is final fantasy in my opinion is just such a hard jrpg like if you like jrpgs and you seriously like challenges and final fantasy is definitely for you but I'm just getting so frustrated. Like, I really want to play them all in order so one day I can finally play 7 and be like, yes, I'm finally playing 7 because I just need to do it. Like, I can't call myself a fan of JRPGs and having never played Final Fantasy 7. But I kind of want to get up to it first. Like, I'm on 4. I just, you know, I'm so close, but ugh, I'm getting so frustrated with it. I, I don't want to say who the boss is, but... Um, I don't want to spoil anything for anyone who hasn't played the game, but I'm just going to tell you I'm about halfway through the game. And that's another thing about Final Fantasy IV that's really getting my goat, which is a common Final Fantasy tactic, I guess I should say, is you have a boss, and you beat the boss, and you're like, that boss was either really hard, or you're like, man, you know, that boss was a little easier than I thought, and then there's a second boss. And the second boss is usually, if it was the first one was super hard, then the second one's super easy, only because you're near death anyway, and you just use all your items. Um, or the first boss is like real easy and you're like, oh cool, I made it. And then like right after there's a stupidly hard boss, which is in the situation I'm in. So it's like, I just can't beat this stupid boss. And I don't know, I, I really, I, I just feel like by this point, I know I'm a little over halfway through the game. And I don't want to give up, but at the same time I'm so irritated. It's not fun anymore, it's like, you know... There's challenge, and then there's just obnoxious. And I, I have to rate Final Fantasy on the line of obnoxious, especially the early ones. Oh, hey, Landis. And who might you be? Abso. Abso, huh? Lootly, you're, you're all doomed to the Grim Reaper. The Grim Reaper? Yeah, the Grim Reaper is scary. Hmm. Okay, can I talk to him again? Yeah, the Grim Reaper has come to the Great Hall. <laughs> He's, you know, I was literally just about to say, at least he wasn't talking about this stupid dang hall, but then of course he does mention it. 
Uh, okay, you know what? That was worth coming down here. Um, is this where I came from? You guys, I'm already turned around. I don't think it is, but... Ugh. Can I just run? I'm gonna let him go. Pretty sure I came from the left. Okay, yeah. I was mostly just checking out this spot, because I wanted to see if anyone was here. But I think there was another pathway that I was gonna go down, or was that where we came from? Pretty sure we came from the left. I just got so sidetracked with Landis. But yeah, going back to Final Fantasy, I, I've noticed in the early Final Fantasies especially, because the funny thing is, I don't remember having this much trouble with some of the later ones. Like, I really like Final Fantasy XII. Um, we played the remake, was it Zodiac Age, when it came out on the PlayStation, and I really enjoyed it. I mean, I, I there were hard bosses, but I never really felt like the main part of the game was obnoxious you know like there was certainly plenty of challenges and obnoxious things to do on the side you know and i i tried to actually do some of them but that was a nice thing is it wasn't required and it rewarded those with patience and skill um with good stuff and so but it's not like you know you had to do it Are, am i back at the where am i but i feel like in these early games it's just kind of like to make the you know, they're like, instead of making the game longer, they just made it harder. So you had to spend more time leveling, you know, just so you could be like, um, okay, so we saw the whole place. Um, they were like, instead of just, you know, making it longer with more story, let's just make it so hard that you spend hours and hours and hours leveling. I kind of feel like that's what they did. And Dragon Quest didn't do that. And I think that's one reason I really, really like Dragon Quest. Um was very rarely in Dragon Quest that I get frustrated or stuck for long periods of time from difficulty. I've actually beaten all the major Dragon Quest games except for one. Um, I didn't beat... Seven? No. Nine. Is it nine? It's the one on the DS. Um... Brain fart. Okay, so eleven... You know, it might be nine, actually, because... Um, 11 was really good, and that was in the PlayStation 4. 10 was the online one, I believe, and I- so it might be 9 that I'm thinking of. Uh, Sentinels of the Starry Skies, I think it was called? I haven't beaten that one yet. I tried playing it twice, and I've struggled with that one, because I feel like that Dragon Quest out of all of them focused way too hard on gameplay and not story, unlike all the previous ones. Okay, so basically that's pretty much the entire castle from what I understand. I think we've covered everything. Um... I don't know if I'm gonna do the bath scenes. Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna look them up to see how many there are and stuff like that, because I'm pretty sure there's already videos of it on YouTube. Unless you guys really want me to do the bath scenes, I don't plan to do them. I might have a bonus video of the dog going around to talk to everybody. It'll probably be pretty short. Um, and then I think that's it. So, unless... I mean, so I'm gonna do the dog video. It's just gonna be a quick one. I don't- this- this one's gone on way too long. I might even cut this one in half. Um... And I don't think I'm gonna do the bath scenes unless you guys really want it. I'm not gonna do kid. Don't even ask. Um... So unless there's more requests for the theater, there's requests or- so pretty much after this- unless it's requested, I think that's it. So I'll see you guys in the next video when we run around as a dog talking to everybody. So bye for now.